Hasselbeck uh, from ESPN's First Take, former NFL quarterback, on why he feels Deshaun Watson is the NFL quarterback who needs a bounce back season the most. He gets a massive guaranteed contract that the likes of which, you know, had never been seen before in the National Football League, even for the biggest stars. And it's been a disappointment, you know, in Cleveland. And he plays in a really tough division. I mean, so much so that, like, if he didn't have the contract that he has, like Joe Flacco would probably be there starting this year. And so I think he's playing for his career. Like, I under, like. All these guys have all kinds of money. And so, you know, guys aren't necessarily playing for money. They're playing that they still belong as starting quarterbacks in the National Football League. I think that's the type of pressure Deshaun Watson is under. I think there are some other guys, like your guy, Daniel Jones, under similar type pressure. Um, but I really think for Deshaun Watson, in terms of, you know, where he is, in terms of what the expectation should be, how he was compensated, all of that, and then the fact that he's got a tough challenge in his division, uh, I think adds to, to a big need for a bounce back. Uh, and, and, Tim, I, I like Tim Hasselback. I think he does a nice job. It, Joe Flacco wasn't going to be the starting quarterback here. It had nothing to do with Deshaun Watson's contract. had everything to do with the turnovers. The Browns almost were close to the league lead in turnovers. Uh, and, again, Joe Flacco played really well. He was not going to be the starting quarterback Deshaun Watson needs to play better. He needs to be healthy. I think if he's healthy, I think the rest takes care of itself. I, mean, I think I'm saying yeah, that talk- a lot. <laughs> well, I mean, when you don't have a lot of games to play over, you know, seven months, and when you can't get on the field till early September, and sometimes you, you kind of run into the same talking points, and I think that's kind of where we are with the Browns. With Joe Flacco, I think we, I think deep down, if you looked at the advanced numbers with him, it, there was some a lot of unsustainability with his play that, unfortunately for the Browns, just kind of showed up at the worst possible time with those two pick sixes against the Texans in that wild card game. So that, I think, obviously, like you said, the big reason why Joe Flacco is not here. And with Deshaun Watson, I think – the idea that he needs a bounce back, I think there there is merit to it because he hasn't played well since 2020, but you could also argue he's barely played since 2020. He sat out the entire 2021 season, had that 11-game suspension in 2022, only played six games in 2023, and in one of those games, he didn't even get out of the first quarter. So really, like I've said before, in the last three years, he's played a grand total of 11 and a quarter games out of a potential 51. So, like you said, bottom line is he needs to be out there. We've talked about it a bunch. It just kind of comes down to him making sure he's able to protect himself, try and take his take, limit the number of hits he could take. And I think if he does those things, the fact that he's in an offense that seems like it's more suited to his talent with Ken Dorsey, the offensive coordinator, it feels like he's got this is his chance to really show that he's still got that 2020 form and, you know, even 2018, 2019 to Sean Watson to show that that has not gone away. It's just the fact that he hasn't played 